goes along very well, very fun. Yeah, and uh, Jim, one of your big hits at the moment, Out of Control. Yep. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that one? Yeah, sure. Um, so Out of Control uh, was recorded in Brisbane with a producer by the name of Stuart Stewart, who has uh, worked with the Veronicas and the Small Mooses previously. Yep. Uh, so he, uh, we went up there to Brisbane uh, for a couple of weeks and recorded a number of songs uh, with him, and one of them was Out of Control. So uh, the song uh, lyrically is about um, a club called the 27 Club, which is a, um, it's a kind of informal uh, you know, list of uh, infamous rock stars who died at the age of 27. Okay, so not a real club. Don't look for it. Uh, well, it's not a real physical yeah, club. Yeah, so we're not, we're not going to go around <laughs> Subi in Perth. Where is yeah, bloody no, 27? No, no, you're not going to find it. <laughs> But you can't, I mean, you can't look it up on the internet and find out all this information, but uh, some of its prominent members are uh, Jim Morrison and uh, Kurt Cobain yep. and Janis Joplin and Jimi Hendrix, so there's quite uh, some big names in there, but uh, you know, if, if you do go do a search on it, you'll, you'll see that the uh, list is uncannily uh, very long, and uh, people in the music is uh, actually afraid of dying at the age of 27. How old are you guys? We won't pass that age. Oh, good. So, yeah, good. I'm glad. Fine. <laughs> Happy that you're alive. But, uh, yeah, a, a lot of uh, entertainers actually um, are uh, you know, uneasy about uh, being 27 because statistics show that entertainers die at 27 um, you know, a lot more frequently than at any other age. Well, thank you for putting that statistic in my head. I'm no, young and I'm yet to reach that, so <laughs> four years okay, later. So just be careful. Curse <laughs> number from the set. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, it, the, uh, the song uh, we, we just found out a couple of weeks ago was um, featured on uh, the 27 Club's website. Oh, cool. Uh, which is um, the 27club.net. Yeah. Um, so it was on there, uh, the single release was on there and they just gave us a quick spill about what the song was about and so on. So that was a big, uh, you know, a big uh, tribute as well and uh, a big honour for us to be on that on that site. That's awesome. And uh, Jim, some of the big big bands you've been playing with, Taxi Ride, one of my favourite bands, yep. Boom Crash Opera, which is uh, what you were saying, one of your idols when you were a bit younger. What was it like to play with them? Was it what you expected? What were they like? Oh, it was... Um we found it uh, well surprising that they accepted us to begin with. Um, was there a moment where you like, oh, they might just, you know, kick me to the curb? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, oh, look, uh, it, it was at a great venue as well, um, an iconic venue in Melbourne, the uh, Fauna Hotel. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's uh, all in all, great night, uh, lots of people. Um, again, we couldn't believe it, but they asked us to play, um, they had it uh, as a Christmas function, slash gig. Yeah. Um, do you, do you have a few drinks before you guys perform? Is that a no-no? Uh, no? Uh, oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, well, I, I like to have just a couple of beers just to loosen up a little bit. And, yeah. Um, you know, get the, uh, get the butterflies out, so to speak, you know. Ever gone too far? Uh, a couple of times. <laughs> a couple yeah. of times, yeah. Well, I, I didn't notice. <laughs> I remember once, you know, we, we, did a, it. we did a gig on my birthday once, I remember. I can't remember how many years ago. Oh, so there were a couple of years ago. And, uh, yeah, it was a bit... Uh, how you going? Yeah, did, I, did the crowd notice? Uh, oh, I don't know if I was uh, actually performing better. Okay, okay can we so, find this on YouTube? A slew? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Tin Alley Band. Maybe. And yeah, what are some of your albums in 14 different countries? Are you big in any other country? Like, uh, well, we, we just recently um, negotiated that uh, international distribution deal. Yep. And uh, it's going to take effect from our next release, which is coming out uh, next month. Okay. Um, so we're hoping to push those markets uh, this year. We'll see. Well, you can probably ask me that same question yeah. next time we have a chat. Where would you like to be big? Uh, look, I'd like to be big. Uh, well, these are all Asian countries that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So um, I'd love to make it big in Japan. <laughs> God, so. you can have the shirt. I'm big in Japan. Yeah, that's it. I'm big in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Tin Ali, thanks very much for coming in. I will play your hit, and uh, it's been a pleasure. Beautiful. Thanks, thanks a lot. Much. Thank awesome. Great work, lads. Pretty good. And we make that into a nice two-minute punchy interview. Beautiful. <laughs> With all the gaps cut out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, I'll take you up to the roof. You guys can set up and uh, and yeah, no pressure for that guy there. He's like the boss of Stereo Australia. So.